you had mentioned that your first fight ever, Steve Grinow, um, it took place at the Atlanta Judo Academy. So in essence, you're living in Minnesota. Rather than try to find something within the Midwest, which was available at the time, like in terms of fighting, you went all the way to Atlanta. Am I correct? Well, somehow, John, somebody contacted John Longstreet, the guy that threw the fight in Atlanta was kind of a freak. He wrote, uh, Mama Gonna Knock You Out for LL Cool J. He was, a, he was a music producer. Okay. And he was a kind of a really freak about these fights, but I'm not really sure how he got a hold of Longstreet. But that fight was the first fight that I was ever in in my life that I wasn't mad at the guy or there was an issue Nothing. We sat down next to each other, put our shoes on, and you know, talked and bullshitted before the fight, and then we got up and fought. And he was pretty tough. Now, he, here's a question on a, on a dojo fight like that. I mean, was there even any money involved? I don't understand. Nothing. No, there was Did, nothing involved. Nothing. Or, or, was there a public? Because it doesn't look like no. <laughs> no. No. So what, no. what See, was the, the motivation? Was, just to get it done, or or make no, a tape? Because. I had, I believe that I, at that time, the UFC had flown me out to Buffalo. Okay. And, and was talking to me and, you know, so then I came home and maybe that's how it happened, but I needed a fight. I needed one fight okay. to get into that, that, you know, we're not mad at each other. And, I, you know, cause I've never fought a guy like that. Mm -hmm. So that, that's kind of how that went down. And then, uh, Longstreet put the, put it together, and we were just in this dojo, and we got it on. It was just me and him fighting. That was it. He ate some hellacious shots. That dude was a Navy SEAL, and he was tough as freaking nails. He he was absolutely Steve Grino Grino was UFC ready a hundred percent at oh, that time. Yeah, yeah, it's it's great. Like I said, I I had a tape of that from back in the old days. And th there's a good chance that Joe Silva sent that to me, uh, you know, just in case. Uh, but I had seen that there. And like I can tell you, on another one of those lost tapes when we used to trade tapes and stuff, that dude fought Don Fry in the same circumstances. So he... Check out the full interview on iTunes, Spotify, and all major podcast platforms. 